All right, folks, we're going to continue on with our thermometer project. What I'd like to do now is on the bottom of this thermometer right here, I'd like to put the temperature value and a capital F as in Fahrenheit so that the operator uh, can see on the, on the thermometer the value. So to do this example, I'm just going to go over to the right side and go to data tags on the right side. And I'm going to grab my temperature tag, the same one we're using uh, for almost the graphics. I'll just drag that tag once again onto my screen somewhere down here like this. Just leave it like this. Now if you look at the thing right now, it shows the name of the tag and the value. I really just want to see the value. So if I right click on that thing and go to the properties, and then on the properties right here where it says contents, label, and data on the data tab, contents, label, and data, hit the pole down there and just choose data value. And now over here it's going to show me just the raw data. So that's what I'd like to see. That works perfect. Then I'll click the OK button in the lower left hand corner. Now you can see, let me click away, there's the zeros, but look at, see how this field is so much bigger than that? Well, I'd like to make sure that I'm not hogging up all that unnecessary space. So I'm going to do something like this. And then I might make this font a little bigger by clicking away and then hover over that thing and click one time to where that ghosted box comes up again. And you might make it a little bigger. And then it's hard to see in here, but I think the hazard signs are going to be there. So I'm going to do this. I'll cheat, move it over here a little bit. And then I'll move it right back here like this. And the only thing I need to add is I want to put a capital F here at the end of it so the operator knows this is in Fahrenheit. So I'm going to go over to the right side of Crimson and click on Primitives on the right side. And I'm going to go into that top section called the Core Primitives again, where we've been interacting earlier. And in Core Primitives, depending on your screen resolution, I'm going to slide down a little bit. And you're going to see there's actually what's called a text box here, just a data text box. I'm going to grab that box and I'll drag it out. And I'm going to set it right here for now. Set it right here. Notice when I drop it, the uh, text inside is kind of highlighted and, and ready to accept letters. I'm just going to do Shift and capital F and then hit Enter. So there's the capital F, but I'm going to make this font a little bigger. So I might go ahead and make it bold it like that. And then I'll kind of squeeze it. Again, I'm, I like to keep things pretty efficient here. So once I get that kind of like I like it, I'll move it over here. And then I can use my uh, keys, up and down arrows and left and right, to line it up since it's kind of hard to do with the mouse. Still not quite right. And that looks pretty good there. And if I go ahead and save this or download this to my screen, we should now see on our screen that it'll show the temperature down here. So let's go over to our web server once it updates here perfect there you can see the temperature and if I squeeze it once again it'll go up and down and so forth so that's just a quick way to put the data for a tag on the screen without the actual uh, tag name perfect